Welcome back. We're talking with ZTE USA Chairman and CEO Li Shin Chang this morning on the heels of the GDP out of China. 7% GDP out of China we, we saw today, uh, Li Shin. Does it feel like 7% on the ground in China? Yeah, I think the report come out really, you know, at the upside of the expectation. I think that's good news. And, uh, you know, this government in China right now, they focus on growth of GDP, really want to boost up the domestic consumer demand instead of export driven. During the last five years, you already see that, you know, China is shifting that and the government is doing a lot of things, investment in infrastructure and also boosting up the consumer's confidence. I think that is the key for the GDP growth in the future in China. All right. We're, we're, we're watching Chinese stock markets really trade volatile. What is your reaction to what's going on uh, with the Shanghai Composite? <laughs> so, yeah, I, you, you saw what happened during the last few weeks. You know, I think uh, there's uh, adjustment uh, is uh, done there. I think, you know, now government did a lot of uh, things, try to stabilize the situation. And uh, uh, for the T point of view, we also announced we are going to repurchase uh, about the 1 billion RMB stock back from the secondary market so show our confidence about the future so a lot of company doing that so and you see that uh, it's uh, coming back is there a feeling that it was a positive that the government intervened because there was d debate around the world that it was actually a negative that the chinese government intervened in the stock market i think intervening itself it's uh, it's not out of question you know for this kind of crisis government has to step in but the question is about how you intervene i think that's really a lot of debate around Li Xin, good to have you on the show today thank you nice thank you, you so again. much we'll be lo we'll be looking for your phones in the u.s uh, the axon phone jerry baker great to see you this thank morning you, thank you so much joe and kent we'll see you next